this roadside cutting here, I used to come and have donuts and coffee with my mum, you know, on or from our uh, uh, trips. And on this side here, when we first came in the early 1980s, that was totally covered with Hypnum moss, and that was the first uh, um, time I actually got to see Hypnum moss. And then one year we came, and it was totally stripped. So I'll just put this into neutral, and uh, I'm going to have my donut here before I get on. And so, uh, yeah, all up there, all the way down there, was just totally covered with hypnum moss. A bit like down here. This is just like a remnant of what it was, you know. So all that was going all the way up there. And then we came one year and it was just totally stripped away. Like someone had harvested it, probably uh, put in with the orchids or something. And uh, is that some sort of rikey or something growing in there? Looks rather interesting there. I think that might be some sort of rickia. R-I-C-C-I-A, if I remember rightly. Don't quote on that one. I haven't got a very good memory. <laughs> but anyway. So, uh, it's... Sometimes pleasant coming back to old haunts, sometimes it can be very disappointing. If people, especially if people have damaged the site, like it was really wondrous, you know, and the, and the sunlight was coming through the the, uh, the leaflets, I suppose you want to call them that, of the hype and the moss, and yeah, it was very wonderful, but then it got stripped, unfortunately.